I think one of the main issues is when people die um, in, in the journey, they don't they don't necessarily change the way they change their relationship with food. You know, when you when you when you going through all this stuff like this, you want to make sure you conquer um, this whole situation because you got to remember we hate ourselves right now, right? So if I hate myself in this state, then I don't ever want to go back there. So why I hate myself in this state? Because of food, because of um, the way I use it, uh, um, the amount I'm eating, uh, some of it, you know, sugary foods or salty foods or whatever triggers, you know, triggers, you know, sugary foods, salty foods, greasy food triggers something in me that I can't stop eating it. And and it doesn't necessarily always happen in a, in a way that, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's different things. Like some people, they can eat a lot in a sitting. Some people go too long, you know, like I'm a person that I eat a lot in the city. Um, but there's some people that eat it and they just go long, long. Next you know, it's a year gone and you don't gain in that year, whatever number, how many pounds and stuff like that. But weight loss is that when you're when you're losing weight, you want to make sure that in that journey, you want to make sure it's the key. It's the main key is to change your relationship with foods. Not that you can't have these things, it's just how often, what triggers you. In some cases, some of us, we got to leave some of this stuff alone forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or just sometimes, it's just unfortunate, right? Because we're getting a lot of stuff out here, man. It's, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes. We're getting... Uh, um, um, Hi, right, what's the what's the uh, chronic pain? You know, um, we getting um, headaches. We getting uh, we sleeping too long. Tired, we tiredness. Uh, um, it's a lot of stuff that's happening um, to us when we're, you know, eating these foods too much, too often, right? So, the main key of all this is to change your relationship with food on this journey, get into food that help you perform and not just in a gym or anything being active. Like, you know, a lot of us, we are just working people, you know, going to work and taking care of your kids, uh, being a husband, being a wife, being a son, a brother, like normal things. You want to be able to function with some decent amount of energy. Um, you so what I'm saying here is that on your journey. Yeah. Getting excited. Get, getting excited about weight loss is cool, you know? But if you don't conquer what's, you know, your triggers, you know, then the saga continues. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. The older you get, the harder it is for you to get yourself in position to lose all this weight and be healed from some of the stuff. Cause let me tell you something. When you're changing your habits, sometimes we take too long and we deal with chronic pains and certain things. Not that you can't get through it, but it's just it's just harder, you know. So me making this video is just you know because I see it all the time and um, people, you know, I got clients and family members and you know. Sometimes I wish they came to me earlier. Cause by the time they get to me, they don't have all these things. And and I'm just trying, I'm pouring it into them. I'm just trying to get them to continue, you know, to focus. Cause by the time they get to me, most of the time, they already got high blood pressure. They already diabetes. They have all these things. And when you get to that point sometime, depending on who you are, you gotta go cold turkey. And it sucks, you know, because you want to, man, you want to, in that journey, be able to still have some of the stuff you like. But when you really get deep down in there, it gets tough, man, to the point that you can't have none of that stuff because we got to heal. Because sugar and um, salty foods and all these different things, and then it's a lot of mis- 
it's a lot of false information out here to the point that even when you want to try certain things, people are so conditioned. You, they like, I'm not eating that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this. And you got to kind of like, you know, again, I, cause I got a big heart. So I, 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 I do anything to, to, to help them, you know, but sometimes it's, 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 it's challenging, man. So I just want to put this video out here just to let people know when you go on this journey, man, focus on changing your relationship with food because food, just like food can heal you, it can kill you. So that's my take, guys, man. I love you guys. Uh, listen, like, subscribe. Uh, I got some big plans for 2023. So, uh, you know, thank thank you for the ones that's uh, been following me and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, man, on this journey, change your relationship with food before it's too late. And it's not necessarily too late, but it, it get a little more harder. All right, peace.